Tony, I, I, I think that's brilliant. I think that's what's super important. It's something that I reflect on myself if I'm in the morning working and I was like, okay, I'm going to smash out, you know, five or 10 calls, whatever it might be. Then after I finish that, okay, I'm just going to go and take my time and I'll go and have a coffee for half an hour and actually sit down with my own Perfect. thoughts and just relax and chill back. I feel like myself these days, Tony, Perfect. that I'm not having the huge roller coaster rides like maybe previously when I was a little bit younger, doing all this personal development work. So it's more a kind of like a steady flow, a little bit of like, you know, the, the, the ocean in the motion type of thing. Well, it, well it's, and, it's, um, the, it's the thermostat, right? Right. So, so, so it's it's a uh, it's it's a it's a thermostat. Just waving at my neighbour. Okay. Uh, probably woken her up on a Sunday. Fantastic. It's a thermostat. People um, need to know. Wait. People need to hear this shit. So, <laughs> oh, that's it. We're screaming from the rooftop. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's it's a it's it's a it's a thermostat where you don't want to have the huge highs because when you have huge highs, you have huge lows, right? So that is celebrate the win, but celebrate all the efforts, but don't have huge highs because what happens is if you're going to live on, on just pure emotion, then you're going to have, if you go high, then you've got a long way to come back down to fall, right? And so it's about trying to, through a thermostat, going, yeah, cool, that's a, that's a great victory and I'm really proud of myself, but guess what? That's only one step of a 1,000 miles. I've got to take another step and another step and another step and then you'll think you've taken enough steps and guess what? You've got to do more. And so it's about, again, over time, try to manage the emotion of it all because because we're all going to have moments where it's challenging there's moments when it's tough right and so you, you have those moments you don't want to have the, the the deep deep lows you want to go okay that's not good that's shit actually that that's happened but what am i going to do about absolutely. it? absolutely what what is what is it that i can do about <laughs> it and so the key is that we we you said the word decision before Decisions are the only things that we can control. Decisions, choice, right? That's the only thing that we can control. I can't control. They've got a pipe burst, uh, you know, water gushing out everywhere. I can't control that. What am I going to do next? The response. That's the key. How do I respond to that? Yeah, absolutely, Tony. Um, I'm a little bit mindful of my battery on my phone. It seems to be running down significantly. I don't know if it's just oh. us talking a lot or whatever it is, but I started on 80%. I already had the 20% warning come up. As the, but what I want to finish on is the, the next idea is about our own personal challenges and bringing out more about that vulnerability. And I'll, I'll start with myself in terms yeah. of that and we'll head over to you because, you, you know, you've got a lot of airtime yeah. required on your one, I'm sure. But something that I'll obviously I'm come up with us this week in our business is, you know, putting out offers to some of these properties. I actually did a video on Instagram and Facebook yesterday talking yeah. about it and saying yeah. that we missed out on a couple it. of deals. Yeah. And, um, you know, something that we really were excited about and we wanted to move forward with. Mm. And it's just unfortunate, mm. even though that we probably had the best price on, on offer, our offer wasn't accepted. Mm. So there's another story behind mm. that. I won't get into that, but it was probably disappointing for us a little bit. And um, I really wanted to get out that message about us just um, simple, like one second afterwards is that focus of keep going, keep moving, keep, keep driving it forward and yeah, how great. we can actually look for that next one. So, you know, it's the response time I feel that is a big one for me. So I alleviate the highs and the lows, the big highs and the big lows yeah. like we talk about, Tony. But, yeah. you know, those challenges are yeah. coming up for us on a daily basis. They're coming up for everyone. No matter yeah. if you are so strong and, you know, strong-willed and you've got it all together, these come up, people. So mm. my message out for you is just to realize what, what, what's going on, respond to them in a better way, in a better way each and every day. I think I, I coined that phrase last week, Tony, but what about your personal mm, challenges mm, of what you're going through other than your ice cream challenge? But yeah, that's another thing. <laughs> but, but, but mate, in regards to what you're saying, it's all about, it's all about recognizing that that's just another step closer to finding the deal that you want. So you put an offer in, it's unrealistic to think that every time you put an offer in, you get it accepted. And so, but you guys know that I'm one step closer to achieving my objective. My objective is to secure uh, my first development site. Uh, and that's what you're doing. Uh, and the other thing is I heard a great example from a, a client of mine a long time ago now, where he worked out that um, he, the average deal would make say $100,000. Each time he put an offer in, he said to himself, I've just made a thousand bucks. He realized that it was gonna take a hundred offers to get the deal, which would deliver him $100,000. So mindset wise, he said, I've just made, I've just made a thousand. I've just made another thousand, right? And so even though you mm. physically haven't made a thousand, but it takes you 100 offers to get the one that makes you 100,000. And so you play that out. It is a mind, it is a mind. So game. it's, it's, it's it's a, 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 a preparation for that, 
that idea because I, I guess it, I, I don't feel like a lot of people actually preparing their mind for what is potentially going to happen on the positive and the negative. Oh, you're hundred percent, hundred percent right, hundred percent. Because people think it's going to happen easily, and then what happens is when it doesn't happen easily, what do we do? We get despondent. We say this shit doesn't work. Dwell. It's 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 crap. They've sold me a lemon, and they've sold me a lemon. I dwell on the fact, right? So they're they're incredibly uh, despondent about it all. Minimize the emotion of it. Recognize that this is a business. Right, so talk about your example. This is a business for you guys, and that is that you need to take one step and another step and another step, and you will learn things. What did you learn out of that experience? Right, what did you learn out of putting that offer in, and what were some things that you would do differently next time? And you may want to share, or you may not. But but have you taken the time mm. to go? You know what? Here's what we do differently. Oh, next well, time. Um, automatically it was a, it was a natural thing for me to actually think about how can we position it next time. Um, it, it was yeah. a, it was a focus on those offers actually going. Uh, you know, people wanting to go to our own occupiers rather than a sort of company set up and our investor set up. So yeah. um, that's oh. why we probably missed out on the deal. Uh, so do we need to do yep. something slightly different or uh, campaign it or manipulate it in some way, shape or form? Um, it's something that we need to work on and, and think about for the next time. So uh, it, is, mm. it is an interesting process. I, I think it's, it's, it's great to actually have these learnings and maybe you, we... we it's not good for us to succeed on the first time either. I, I, I agree. And, uh, and I've got an, another, another client uh, who, who had some success early. And when you have success early, then you start to, to create this mindset of this is easy. And you start to get a little bit complacent and you forget about the fundamentals that you need to be successful. And so, uh, and I had some success early. So way back when I first bought uh, my very first home back in 2001, I bought in, in Brisbane when the market was doing that. And, um, and I bought another one about 18 months later. And I turned to my wife, and I remember, I remember this as clear as day. Um, how great are we? How great are we? You know, and, and because it was, because, you know, you're in the, my mind. Tony, you're the gift. It was all. It was all you're the gift. Was, yeah, that's, that's it. And, and it, was, it was all our doing, right? But the reality is, it wasn't. And there was this thing called the GFC, and it came through and it gave us one hell of a lesson. And I'm, and I'm pleased that I got the lesson. I can tell you at the time, uh, I wasn't pleased at all. Uh, in fact, I felt the opposite and, you know, and, and the banks closed in on me and all those types of things. Right? That, was, that was horrible, horrible, horrible time in my life. But I look back now and I am pleased that Best I had the lesson. lesson. You know, and I'm pleased. And you, you, you touched on the, um, the ice cream piece. Uh, people may not know that I had my own ice cream cafe and I lost 100000 bucks in nine months. And I am pleased that I had the lesson. I wasn't pleased at the time. I'm not going to sit here and BS to people. It was a horrible, horrible time. But I sit back now and I'm pleased. Why? Because it shaped me to who I am today. Because Mate, all of these up? things. Is that, what, is that the you. shape? <laughs> is that the shape you're talking about? I couldn't help it. You've I been actually, the shape uh, in. I yeah, no, help no, it. go for it. No, absolutely. So you got to be careful um, your words around I'm, me, Tony. I'm, no, I get it, no, 100%, but it's good, right? So it's the whole NLP side of things. But my, my point is that it's, it's only when you look back that you can connect the dots. And all those experiences, all those crappy experiences, all those positive experiences, all those mediocre experiences have shaped me to where I am today and they've shaped you, Luke, and they've shaped all the viewers to where you are today. And so now the key is you pop that line in the sand and what's your next move? Absolutely. What is your next move? Because that's the key, because you cannot change. I can't sit here and change what's happened historically for me. Take the lesson and then move forward. Absolutely. I think that's it. Sorry, what was your question? <laughs> was your question? That's good enough. <laughs> I, um, I think it's a good way to I end it today. What what's was. your next move? Um, that's, that's a good way to, you know, all wrap it up and just say, everybody, what's your next move in what you're doing? So hopefully you're there thinking you about cool. it. Next week. Um, what's your next move? And that's, that could be our segue for next week. Exactly. Actually, I'd love that. And you know what I'd love for next week is I would love for people to come back to us and actually share with us what, what their next move was. You know, so if you're, uh, if you're watching this, if you've made it this far through the video, which I'm sure you all Maybe have, you can... uh, but you've made it this far through the video, what's your next move over the, over the next week? And I'd love for you to share with us what Maybe it was that you did. And if your next move is today, out, send us a message. We can throw it out all on social, um, both you, yourself yeah, and I. Will. And let's just see yeah. what's your next move for the next week. Is that what it is? What's your next move for the next yeah, week? That's it. That's Fantastic, That's Tony. What a, great, what, a great, what a great session, everyone. Shut up and jump. Do it. And um, Tony, 
Just do it. Just you, lean, you've lean had into a huge it. week, and uh, congratulations on, on experiencing your fears, going through some of those vulnerabilities, um, going yeah, through yeah, some of the yeah. pressures in, in sort of your development space, yeah. and um, hopefully everyone's learned yeah. a lesson around that as well. So thank you everyone for joining, and have a great Sunday wherever you are. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Thanks, Luke.